Hi, welcome to Array. I'm Carly, and today I'm going to show you how to add conditional logic to your Array forms. Conditional logic can be applied to your forms, emails, documents, and workflows. It makes everything you do in Array even smarter. In this video, I'll show you how to apply logic to your form fields. You can view more videos to learn how to apply logic throughout all of your processes in Array. So let's get started. Conditional logic in regards to forms is a way to create forms that change based on input. You can configure fields to display or hide information depending on a user's response to other fields. This allows you to tailor your forms to your user's specific needs. It all boils down to, if X happens, then make Y happen. Conditional logic helps your forms flow more logically, shortens them, and helps you to have one form for multiple circumstances without showing all the extra sections. I'm going to start with this water leak inspection form that I downloaded from the Ray Marketplace. You see here, when I select that there's damage, another question and then the take a picture element will pop up. When I enter in certain severity level numbers, different things will happen depending on the number. So if you see if I select three, nothing shows up. When I select a higher level, like four or five, a message will now appear. There's also email logic connected to this field that will trigger an alert email to a designated person as soon as the form is submitted. Now I'll show you exactly how to build that conditional logic flow into your forms. From here, we'll select the water leak inspection form to open it in the form builder. I've already added all the fields that I need in my form. Now I will add a conditional logic to each field that is tied to the question, is there any water damage? It's important to note that you should label your fields accurately. That way it's easier to find them when you're adding logic actions. I can make the take a picture element appear depending on if the answer is yes or no to the question above. Now, when I get to severity damage level question, I can make the message appear depending on the numbers are greater than or equal to a certain level. Always remember that when you're done adding changes to your form that you click publish, and that will save all of your changes. Now let's see the logic in action. You can see that the take a picture element is popping up depending if I select yes or no. Now we'll navigate over to the connect tab and I'll show you how to add logic to your email automation. In another video, we'll go over how to create automated branded emails to display certain data from your forms and send out to your selected contacts. I've already created an email template here called Water Damage Attention, and now I can add logic to it. I will start by selecting the form field that asks you which severity level the water damage is at. Here, you can see all the different logic actions you can choose from. Then I will select greater or equal to and enter in a value that is a higher level, such as four or five. So that's how you add logic to your forms. Upgrade to a smart, essential, or pro account to start powering your processes with Array's conditional logic.